Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be doing a protein treatment on natural hair using the G two-step protein treatment. We're going to start on my two-day-old puff and get it extremely moisturized and strong with this protein treatment. I purchased this treatment at my local beauty supply store and it comes with the shampoo for damaged hair, the two-step protein treatment, and the balancing moisturizer. You will also need a handheld dryer or a hooded dryer. But let's get started by taking our puff down and separating our hair into four sections. Sectioning your hair is extremely important as well as having your hair a bit detangled. This will help you get the product on every single strand. While I'm sectioning my hair, let me tell you a little bit about Afogee's protein mint. This treatment has a precise level of protein, emollients, and humectants that will give your hair strength, shine, and softness. You should do these protein treatments at least once a week to once a month, depending on your hair. The first step, of course, is to shampoo your hair, and I am using the shampoo from Afogee, and it claims to cleanse the hair gently, restore shine, help strengthen hair, and it helps with your pH balance. So it normalizes your pH balance. So you basically just wet your hair and then apply the shampoo liberally. Massage gently into your hair and scalp. Pause. <laughs> if you notice, you can see my roots are growing in very well. That is like the best thing about color besides the look, but it also helps me track my growth. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my roots because of people, um, a couple of people asked about it. So yeah, good on the growth. All right, let's finish our protein treatment. <laughs> You just rinse and towel dry your hair not like rub the towel on your hair but just place the towel on your hair to you know to soak up any excess water so now we're ready for the start of the show and this is the actual protein treatment first of all you have to shake this very well before you use it and then you're just going to apply enough treatment to thoroughly saturate your hair so the directions say you have to comb through your hair with a wide tooth comb, but let me tell you, there is no way you can comb through this stuff. It's very liquid, and it's very, um, I don't know, it, it, it immediately made my hair hard. So there's no combing through your natural hair with this treatment. So that's why I like to say, make sure your hair is a bit detangled before you even start this process. and sticky like i can't even pull this apart it is once so you have this on your hair you need to allow hard. it to air dry and again it's going to make your hair hard i mean like rock hard so you're going to blow dry it to help it dry you can air dry it. you can sit under a hooded dryer once it's dry it's time to rinse rinsing is so important so make sure that you rinse every Thing out of your hair as you can see my hair looks amazing it's already shining the curls are popping that's not always necessarily true um, you know sometimes your hair will not show the benefits of this treatment until you do the moisturizing step so this treatment did come with a balancing moisturizer and it is infused with moisture. It improves the manageability, softness, and shine of your hair. It also levels your pH balance as well. Um, so yeah, so just add this moisturizer. Make sure you work it in. And this is also when you can detangle. The Balance and Moisturizer is a must in this collection. I would suggest that you get all three of these because the protein treatment can leave your hair feeling a bit stiff and you may be kind of scared that your hair is hard and it's going to break. But adding this Balancing Moisturizer definitely brings that softness back to your hair and you will definitely see how great this 
this treatment was for your hair and it, it'll be a great addition to your regimen do it you know once a week if your hair is severely damaged if you have color treated hair if you have a perm um, but if you have pretty healthy hair I would say that you should do this once a month as you can see my hair looks amazing I wish you guys could feel it because it feels amazing this is definitely something I've been missing for my regimen since being natural I thought I was doing protein treatments as far as like my deep conditioning treatments but no this is on a whole nother level and you need this in your regimen trust me and then this is also a rinse out product so you do not keep this in your hair it's going to feel amazing you're going to want to keep it in there but no go to the sink and rinse it out so once you're done with your protein treatment it's time to do the lock method i know this is a long day <laughs> but i'm going to be using the cream of nature argan oil from morocco collection to do the lock method we're going to be using their leave-in we're going to be using their 100% pure argan oil and we also are going to be using their butterlicious curls. So what I'm doing right now is I'm layering the products in that order. This is the best um, technique to make sure my hair stays moisturized. And then we're going to be doing some mini twists to prepare for my protective style. Again, I'm using the lock method LOC for liquid leave-in oil and cream. I sometimes have to switch it up. So if you have been using the lock method and it's not doing you any justice, try to switch it up because your hair may be absorbing the moisture differently. So for Skylar's hair who has 4C hair and she's high porosity, I like to do the liquid cream and oil method, which is still a variation of the lock method. And her hair stays moisturized very well. So don't get frustrated with that method. Just switch it up until you can find a way to really help your hair with moisture. So this is the end of my protein treatment just keep in mind that a protein treatment is a reconstructor and it should definitely be protein based as well as moisture based it has to have both of those because you want your hair to be strong and also soft and shiny afterwards don't overdo it because too much of a good thing can be a bad thing so definitely assess your hair and determine if you need to do, do this once a week every two weeks or once a month um um, for my color treated hair, I'm going to do these every two weeks. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.